so this should be should be getting recorded now. I should be going to my screen. Let me just have a look. Yep. So let's see. Oop. Oops, that's a little bit too sensitive. There we go. Actually, make the camera a little bit bigger so I can see better. So I can see I can be walking around. And my feet should be adjusting appropriately. Should be using walking animation. Actually, do this. Uh, grab a camera like this. I'm move it a little bit forward. So I can be walking in different directions. And oh, what's that? The feet seem to be flipping sometimes. I'll still need to address that. But the system, it also should like switch between different gates. I actually switch the camera to automatic. Let's see, how does this work? I guess that is too far. Let me try this setting. Okay, this is closer, this is better. So if I run too fast, it should actually switch to another gate, which is more suited for fast motion. Yep, I actually run really fast, which makes it switch to yet another gate, which is sort of like this leaping jumping, which minimizes the time that the feet spend on the floor, so they don't have to like, they don't have to move as fast. Uh, no falling, no dying. There we go. Whoop. And you should also handle like different walking directions. Different walking speeds. The walking speed is actually based on my actual difference, like a uh, position difference in the world. So if you look at the feet, they should match they should match the ground one by one. They should match my motion. Assuming the camera actually there we go. Camera likes to get a little bit too close sometimes. So this is working pretty well, I think. Oh now it's above me. Let's try running over there. Nope, 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 nope. Forgot to jump. Zip. Um, I'm actually spawn a terrain that might be interesting and might provide a bigger area to play with. So I got a terrain over here. Okay, let me just make it bigger. Even bigger than this. There we go. That's pretty big. Let's give it some texture so it's not plain. Oh, that's actually pretty big. And also, let's actually make it a little bit smaller. There we go. We need to mark it as character collider and also make it non grabbable so I don't grab it by accident. And no, let's let's jump over there. Okay, it should give me interesting terrain to run on. So hopefully the camera is getting this. I could also try... Oh, that's, that's interesting. So actually I slid over the wall. That wasn't, that wasn't my motion. Because like if the, if the slope is too steep, um, I just slip. There's still like no IK for, um, for slopes. Or uh, other. There is technically it just doesn't take it into consideration right now. It doesn't measure the normals for each each foot. And something that's going to come in the future, but I don't know, it can it can work pretty well without it as well. So there's a detail I can tackle later. And let's see. So we're walking around. This is working pretty well, I think. Let's try different avatars. The system should handle like a lot of different types of avatars. So let me, for example, uh, spawn this one. That's actually 
I'm just gonna delete myself. Okay, so let's see. How's this, how does this look? Okay, okay. Of course, like sometimes these speeds, uh, these characters, especially when it's like a game, they run at really, really fast speeds. So it kind of looks strange because physically, I don't think a lot of these characters are actually be capable. Ah, the camera is getting too close. I don't think like physically those characters will be capable of actually running at those speeds that we are making them run. But as long as it looks somewhat plausible, it should be okay. Oh, strange jumping over there. Hip! Okay, okay. I hope. Alistair, another character. So let's try this humanoid one. Uh, where is it? There we go. I need to spawn this one. Let's delete this one. So as a pretty standard human. So see the feet, they actually transition. The transitioning of the feet they still needs some more work. You see the sort of jump in some cases. So that needs more improvement, but uh, I don't doubt Hopefully it should be working all right. Some of these things they are hard to debug because uh, I need to I need to actually do this footage and see what's working, what's not working. There we go. Let me run around a little bit. Yep. I think there will be some jumps in the feet. Seems like. Uh, the direction is jumping for some reason. But I think this this might be just getting glimpses on the camera image. This might be looking okay. Of course, I'll also see more when I see, see the locomotion in action on other people. But I think this is, this is okay. Let's try this one. Oops. I'll just switch to the wrong folder in my inventory. Oh, let's try this one. This one's actually... Yeah, this one's actually interesting when you talk. You can see it has this kind of uh, effect. <laughs> uh, but that's not what we are testing now. <laughs> And I'm running away. I'm running it a little really fast. Mm. Mm. I just think how interesting the vibe it actually filters out the audio after a while. And this this is good. Okay. So I hope this looks fine. Let's try another humanoid. So we have this Halo character. So let's try this one. This one is kind of bulky. Wait, are the feet? Huh. Oh, it's a bit difficult to see them. I'm running really, really fast. I went like with a uh, sort of like a leap. A leap jumping when I'm going really, really fast. Oops. Yep. Ooh. Let me climb, climb up. Yep. This is one of the fun things to actually about testing this is just jumping around platforming oops i can't really wait like until we actually build some proper games because even just just running around and jumping is it's really fun and writing the procedural locomotion system is kind of fun as well 
because it lets me sort of deconstruct the way we walk and animals walk in some simple like mathematical way and see if I can like build up the same behavior sort of analytically and essentially make a lot of like different gates by parameterizing the same core algorithm. Okay, so I think this one is like, like, okay, let's try this one. So we have like this uh, skeleton. So I'm gonna switch to this one. Uh, let's see. It's not actually pretty good for debugging because it's kind of human, human size. The proportions are human as well. It's one of the issues like with a lot of these characters is that their proportions do not correspond to human proportions. And when we try to map them, that causes a lot of issues. And there's always like something that kind of needs to give. But for these human ones, it's, it's very nice because you can get them very close to like the feeling one to one. Let me try walking to the side. I think the feet are getting a little bit. I'll be the calibration. I call me run away. Yep. 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 Surprisingly, surprisingly fun. Yep. Ouch, ouch. I bonked my head. Yep. Ah, some fun platforming. Ah. Yep. yep. No, 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 no. Yep. There we go. So we'll see how this looks. I think there's definitely the direction is some, sometimes randomly jumping. I still need to look into that, but hopefully it's uh, otherwise fine. Let's try a 3D scan. So this is this is a scan of my colleague, co-founder of Solirax, Carol. So let's see how this looks. So look, oh, where's, where's the, where did the camera go? I was a little bit too close. Shoo. Look at the feet. The feet is what we are, in, what are we interested in. I go straight running. Ah. Okay, I clip. Oh, that's actually another issue that I need to look into. Is the collider margin? I cannot increase it so. So it like actually it's easy like to walk up ramps and some small steps, but uh, the problem is it also affects the way the collisions are computed. So like it makes it much, much easier to clip through. So I'll probably I'll see if I can change, change like the actual proxy body for the collector collider from cylinder to capsule and use low margin, but I'll have to see how the physics extension handles this. So let's see if I can go some parkour. Yep, yeah. Good, Carl. Okay, so what, what else do we have? Anything else that we can test? So I don't have many more characters, so let me switch back to my own. So I think this is a good enough test. So I hope the new locomotion system and all the animations are now working much, much better. Is it going to make the characters look better? Is it going to make them like look uh, more as a part of the environment and more natural? And we'll be able to build a lot of cool games and a lot of cool things uh, with the system. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you with the next development update. Nice.